Time for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Audrey joins me. We're going to make up pancakes. You can make your pan pancakes so extra light and fluffy with just a couple of ingredients, key ingredients right here. And here with the easy recipe is the co-author of Quickly, the Magic Spatula. Welcome, Gerald Abelman. <laughs> Good to have you on I don't know anyone else who has named her spatula. Why is Quickly so special? Well, Quickly was an antique that was found in an old box in the attic, and it sparks treasured family memories gotcha. for all of us, and therefore, Quickly is very special. Well, we'll find out more about Quickly later, but right now, I'd like you to quickly <laughs> tell us about this dish. Uh, it's a whole platter full of pancakes, and what else there? Pancakes and mint and oranges, strawberries. Wow. And um, wonderful well, ingredients. Tell us about the ingredients we're going to work with here. Okay. This is to make the batter, is it? This is to make the batter. Mm -hmm. um, we have sour cream, cottage oh. cheese, honey, vanilla, egg yolks, flour, and egg whites. Wow. Delicious. Well, let's get started. That's an what, unusual what, what, combination what, what do we do here? Let's get well, cooking. Well, you've already mixed the batter. I have, you know, in order to save some time. Right. But I'm going to ask Audrey, could you please put the egg whites in the batter for me? Yes, I can. Now, well, this, this is your mom's recipe, isn't it? It is. And she used to get up every Sunday morning, oh put on her red high heels. And <laughs> <laughs> she did? Yes, she did. And make pancakes for everyone. Aren't those special memories, those family memories of time spent in the kitchen and meals being prepared? You know, it's true. In today's world, we're so busy with, with texting and computers and Internet. And to have these special memories to remind us of them, mm -hmm. this is the treasure of Quickly the Magic Spatula. So that's the purpose of the book, actually, it is. right? Exactly. Yeah. And you know, it's so easy for kids to make batter, yeah. isn't it? And it's so easy to cook. So anyway, I think I've done it. Have okay. I? Am I good there? Absolutely. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ice cream scoop because it's a great way to measure. Ah. And I'll just put them right on. Okay. And as it's like little small ones. Little silver dollar. They're called Mommy's Silver Dollar Pancakes. Oh, I love them. And she used to make them for all the kids. Yeah, have you passed this recipe on to your kids and grandkids? I know you have two children and three grandchildren, right? That is correct, and one on the way. And yes, I have, and that's what is so special to for all of us, to have those special family memories that are meaningful. Take that. And it's a wonderful thing for kids and for adults to share with kids mm -hmm. The family recipes. Sure. To right. hold on to, to them. To hold on to it's them. It's part of so the family often. history, yeah. Yeah, it really is. It ties is. generations together. It does. Because that's how cooking was done, you know. There wasn't any cookbooks in the old days. They just passed on family recipes oh, to family recipes. I was around in the old days, I know. Hey, I was there too. <laughs> you and I both, buddy. Exactly. So is there more recipes in the book than this? Or There's, just it's all pancakes? This is the pancake, the one pancake recipe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the book is about memories and pancakes. And this is the memory. However, there's a sequel on the way. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've, you've given us some of your tips for, for building family memories. That is, get everybody involved, including the kids, in the food preparation. Well, what's another way to, to hold on to those special family memories? Well, preserve your memories by, by taping your, your family members, mm. by having their history, um, valuing your family history, sharing it with the kids, having wonderful traditions keep those traditions going See, storytelling was big in my family we'd gather around the dinner table and my parents would always tell these wonderful stories I mean true family stories so we sort of had a um, a verbal history going on yeah, of, the, of the family you know and you know, oral, the, oral history there's yeah. so many things you can do with the kids like even going antique shopping it sort of brings out ideas mm -hmm. and you talk about you know history and your family history as well as you know country's history so lots of things you could do to bring back and memories you talked about antiques we did that's the treasure to keep those antiques those special things be it a spatula or grandma's special bowl or a vase and speaking of that spatula so tell us more about quickly how did it quickly get that name well it's a true story a yeah. tribute to my mom and um, one day my brother was my mother was making pancakes on a Sunday and all of a sudden she didn't have the spatula and she said to my brother Jeffrey Jeffrey get me the spatula quickly uh. and he went running across the kitchen came back and said here mommy here's quickly, here's quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Very I like cute. that that is there really cute. That's the story. Gerald is a uh, former teacher. What, what did you teach? I taught fifth grade Thanks, in Gerald. Danville. 
Um, so you're going to sort of decorate these, darling, are you? Put, how, I'm going to decorate them. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to decorate. This is like powdered sugar. Yeah, okay. Then you've got some fruits. Okay. Some syrup. Fantastic. Okay. And if you oh, notice, um, there's no milk in the pancakes. That's right. Oh, that's right. Low fat. Well, we're about to ruin that. And if you want to do low fat, right. you can do um, low fat cottage cheese and low fat sour cream. Well, by the way, do you have quickly, did you bring quickly with you? Well, I did. I have a special surprise for everybody. Here's uh, quickly. Oh. Here's quickly. <laughs> Check out quickly. Hold it towards the camera. Yeah, there you go. There's quickly. And, and quickly's been around for how long? Oh, I don't even know how many years, but forever. And, wow. and quickly now hangs on her wall in the kitchen. I'm sure he has a place of honor in the kitchen. <laughs> Cheryl <laughs> Eagleman, thank you so thank much. You so thank much. you White so much. White puppy pancakes, we're going to have them for lunch. <laughs> it was great. Have a great thank weekend. Thank you so okay. much. Bye. We'll see you Monday. <laughs>